Hi, um, as part of our ECDL European Computer Driving Licence exam, there is an area that deals with access and uh, databases. And part of that um, syllabus, if you like, is to do with database principles, which is covered in Section 1 of our CIA manual um, 2013 version. So what I'm going to cover here is the section one and we're going to cover some of the areas that you may get asked in the exam. So if you're not taking the exam and you're just looking at this for information, then so be it. Otherwise, this is syllabus related and comes forward at the start of an exam in multiple choice version. So one of the things that may be asked of us is uh, what is a database? So you need to... Um, pick one of the multiple choice uh, options and it would be a database is an organized collection of information. It talks about it being like a telephone directory, which it is really, it's vast amounts of information being managed um, and it allows you to create, maintain and process lots of information. It's really at the point where Excel starts to run out of steam that you start to get into databases and have a look and see what it's capable of and it's a very, very powerful application in the Microsoft Office Suite. Another area uh, within the multiple choice um, questions is the one asking the difference between data and information. So data could be just uh, raw facts. In other words, I could hand you a sheet of paper with raw facts all over it um, in, in cell format or um, in record format as in databases. And it wouldn't mean anything. It would just raw data. Whereas if I put, process it and put some information around it, some headings, um, etc. and categories or whatever, then it be starts to become information. So data's raw facts information would be considered as processed. Another area covered in the database principles are the roles of uh, people. Um, those being database specialist or designer, um, the one that creates the database and generally is consulted, uh, consults with an organisation or an individual as to, to see what they want from their database. It is something that usually evolves, it doesn't just happen and you have to keep changing things and uh, updating things to meet those requirements. It's not an architect. Uh, in the exam, if you do take the exam, it does uh, give that as an option and being a, a builder or a designer, um, particularly the word builder, people tend to go for architect but it isn't. Another role would be a database administrator, quite an important role. And they control the access given to different individuals within an organisation, um, uh, the level of use that they're allowed to use. They, they also are responsible for recovery of a database after major errors or crashes, which is quite important, obviously, in this uh, data day and age. And then we have the, uh, the database user, end user, the person that enters information on a day-to-day -day basis, maintains, keeps it updated, and also retrieves information Create, uh, creates queries, etc. Another one uh, that could come up in the exam um, are the, the hierarchy of the elements within a database. Um, so it may ask which is the smallest. Um, so you need to know how uh, a, a database is sort of like built, if you like, how it's set up. So you have the database obviously as the main overview at the top, and then you'd have tables within that database. And within the tables, the tables are then made up of um, records which have small elements called fields, individual fields, a bit like um, Excel really. So it's, uh, it, if we look at the next slide, um, you can see that hierarchy um, as an example, you've got a very simple table where you can see the table, um, a record made up of tiny fields that's created in the design view of a table. So that's how the elements and the hierarchy is made up. The final uh, area relating to, to um, the objects within a database, so we have um, tables which are our main source of data and information. But we can't really use tables in, in lots of scenarios. You could uh, show an, an individual customer, turn a screen around and show them uh, all the tables if they want to see something about themselves. One, it would be very, very complicated and uh, busy. And the other thing is, they, data protection wise, they would see lots of information about other people. So hence we have objects that are made from those tables. And uh, the first one being forms, which suit um, 
displaying and maintaining information, the, the uh, red at the bottom of the screen that's being marked out. So that's the way that ECDL view um, forms being used, what purpose of them. And uh, they are uh, just taking the information from tables, either exactly the same information in a simple form or slightly different using particular fields, particular um, data to create a form um, for a purpose. Um, another object that can come from tables are queries. Um, a queries will extract particular data and information that's required and then it will um, put that into a, a format that's, that you can understand. You can use one more than one table to extract information from and that can then be used um, to create reports, um, forms or other things as well. So that is considered by ECDL as the extraction and analysis um, object because that's what it does, it extracts information and allows you to analyse that information. So you're not looking at everything, you're just looking at a particular area. The final one, um, reports object, which is generally used um, so it can be printed in a format that uh, people understand easily, um, it looks nice and neat and tidy, it can be used um, to compile information um, for printing out for meetings, um, people that don't want to see all of the data, they just want to see what they're interested in and they want to see it in a manner that, that's easily understood, hence the uh, ECDL um, way of, of, of looking at a reports object would be it's, it's for compiling information for printing. 